Couple who bought the conjuring house say weird things keep happening. All right, who on their right mind would buy this house and why is this house even on the market? So many questions. What's going on YouTube nerds? Welcome back to Inform Overload. We bring you the news, the tea, viral updates, basically everything that is trending. What can I say? We are trendy people. If you like what we do, be sure to follow the IO team on Instagram. All of our links are in the description below. Also, it's tradition for our host to handpick some comments and respond to them at the end of each video, so make sure that you stick around for that. A couple from Mexico has purchased a home together. Cute, right? Wrong, because they didn't just purchase any home, they actually bought the house from the horror movie, The Conjuring. Haunted houses are fun when you're in them for a few minutes at like a carnival, but imagine what it's like to actually reside in one of them. Apparently the scary stories weren't enough to keep Corey and Jennifer Heisen away from purchasing the home. They said it is their dream house, which is actually located in Rhode Island, and it is the exact house that inspired the entire horror movie series. In the movie, the paranormal investigators are called to to this exact farmhouse after a real family called the parents called them saying a supernatural presence is haunting them. The parents moved in with their five daughters who have openly talked about the evil spirits they encountered while living in that house. The oldest daughter, Andrea, spoke to USA Today and said, I quote, I thought I was going to pass out. My mother began to speak a language not of this world in a voice not her own. Her chair levitated and she was thrown across the room. Even the investigator, Lorraine, who worked on the house with the family said, the things that went on there were just so incredibly frightening. It still affects me to talk about it today. People were shocked when the farmhouse went up for sale just a few months ago, but Corey Heisen was actually jumping for joy. Turns out he's a paranormal investigator himself, so when it went on the market, he just had to snatch it up before anyone else. During an interview with Sun Journal, he explained, we immediately fell in love with it. Eight and a half acres, a river in the back, and a pond. It's so serene down there. Never mind the story behind the house, it's a beautiful home. Never mind the story, what the heck do you mean never mind the story? How do you possibly just dust all of that under the rug? The purchase made news after Corey posted a status to Facebook along with some pictures of the home. All was looking like peaches and cream, but not for long. The new homeowners moved into the home and started experiencing some weird things. Obviously, don't say that no one warned you. Jennifer said, I quote, we had doors opening, footsteps, and knocks. I've had a hard time staying there by myself. I don't have the feeling of anything evil, but it's very busy. You can tell there's a lot of things going on in the house. Literally, that sounds like my worst nightmare. You're basically living in a house with ghosts, like just casually living with them. Corey and Jennifer said they hope to fix up their conjuring home before opening it up to visitors and other investigators later this year, which is actually kind of smart and they will probably make tons of money off of all of this in the end. But despite all of the creepy paranormal incidents, they are still optimistic for their plans and said that the journey is both scary and exciting. Uh, scary, just scary. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and hit that thumbs up button so that I know you enjoyed it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last IO video. A woman spits mouthwash into bottle and puts it back on shelf. Name change 94 says, next people are going to bring an oven, cook a full blown turkey dinner, eat it, then leave without paying. Honestly, don't even go and give people these ideas because it wouldn't even surprise me at this point. Sasa says, they going to put mouthwash and ice cream behind bulletproof glass now. Probably. What a time to be alive. Odd says, nothing is safe. Save your children, hide your valuables, run, hide, fight back. Seriously though, now we just have to live in fear of buying mouthwash at Walmart. Drill MD says, what you worried about? Mouthwash kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I see what you did there. That is clever. Honestly, people wonder why we have trust issues. This is why. I'm getting out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you want to keep watching more IO videos, just click the playlist on your screen that is right over here. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you in a future IO video.